Welcome Internet, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the in-game mouse sensitivity by using a slider widget. First of all, I'm starting from scratch using the third person template. You can also use your prepared game, but please watch the video in front of so you know which parts you have to implement and what you don't need, because I'm pretty sure some of you will already have the slider or the displaying of the widget. So with that being said, we are going to enter the character and we need to create a variable inside our character. I will call it mouse sensitivity. So we change it to a float value and we compile it. After we compile it, we can set a value. We want a default value of 45. So that's everything we do here right now. We go back to our content browser and we create a new user interface, a widget blueprint. We call it also mouse sensitivity. And we are open it. So the first thing we are going to do, we are using a, the search box to get a slider. And we are dragging it into our canvas panel. And this is just a small setup I'm going to do. You don't have to do that. I set it to center. The value is zero, 0. I make it a little bit bigger with 300. And the alignment is set to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So now it would really always be in the center. And now we are going into our graph and we create a new variable. We call the variable mouse sensitivity. Hit enter and we change it to a float again. Then click again on it and press Ctrl W so you duplicate it and we create a maximum mouse sensitivity. Compile it. We don't need to set the mouse sensitivity, but we are going to set the mouse maximum sensitivity. I choose 200, but this depends on your opinion. So now we are going back with uh, the selected uh, slider. You're going here to the appearance value and use the bind function and bind it to the mouse sensitivity. This is the variable we have created here. So now they are connected. We are now going back to our third person character and we are preparing everything to display the widget. So just press right mouse button and type something like set key. So you got the key here. And we are going to use a, f uh, not a float, sorry, a flip flop. Um, if you don't know this element, everything it does is uh, first time you're pressing the key, it will go A. Second time you're pressing the key, it will go B and it will change this all the time. So it's handy for displaying and remove it from B displayed. So we are going to create a widget and we select our mouse sensitivity widget and we are going to add it to the viewport. So now we can already display it, but we won't see a mouse cursor. For that we need to get the player controller. And we need to set the mouse cursor. So we need to set the checkbox so it will be displayed. And the last thing for displaying it we need to do is we need to uh, set the input mode to game and user interface. As the target it's the player controller. The widget is the widget we created here. And we want it always to be locked. And remove the hiding of the cursor. So this is everything we need to do to display it. So we also want to be able to remove it. That's the created widget. We just drag down here the return value and say remove from parent. So that's how to remove the item. But we need to undo these changes here. 
So we are just copying this down and remove the checkbox. So now we won't see the cursor anymore. And the focus we set here is still on the widget or it's not on the widget, but you need to click into the display so you have the focus again. Uh, but you can also set the focus here. Set focus to game viewboard. Now you don't have to click again, so you got the focus. And we need to undo the input mode. Set input mode, and we only need to set it to the game mode. So, and we are doing this again for the player controller. So after that, we can now display it and remove it again. So pressing set, it is here. You don't have control over the character. You press set again and you can move again like in front of. A second key I want to use here is the X key. I just wanted to use to show us the value of the mouse sensitivity. So track, track it out and hold the control key and you will automatically get the get value. So I want to just print the value, just type print string and connect the values. So that's everything I want to do in the character right now. We are going to our widget. And one thing I want to mention, which is very important, we created here the mouse sensitivity and we created here the mouse sensitivity. But these are completely two different values. They don't have anything in common. So we are going back into the widget and we don't need to pre-construct and we don't need to tick. We want to prepare the widget. We want to use the event construct. If we are going to create a widget, this method will be called. And first thing we want to do is we want to get a reference to our player pawn. And we need to cast it to whatever you have. I have the third person template, so I cast it to the third person character. So by doing so, we can now access the values of the third person character. And now we are going to get the mouse sensitivity. And that's what I was going to mention. These two mouse sensitivities are not the same. So we track the other mouse sensitivity of the widget out and just connect it to this bin. It will be automatically a set. And now we can connect these two values. But when you go into the designer, and select your slider. You can see here on the appearance to value and you will see it's maxed with one. So it's just between zero and one. And our mouse sensitivity is a maximum of 200, as you remember. So we need now to do a little bit of math to get to this value. So we drag out uh, the maximum mouse sensitivity, which is 200. And now we need to divide our current value with the maximum mouse sensitivity. What this does is it changes the values of the mouse sensitivity. So what we have here between one and 200 or zero and 200 will now be converted to a maximum of zero and one. So we connect these two values. And what have we done here now? Our third person character has stored the mouse sensitivity and you know we have set it to a default value of 45 and when we are open the widget it will get the mouse sensitivity from the third person character and it will use it as the mouse sensitivity for our widget which means basically um, we now got it reads the value from the third person character and displays it in our slider. So it will start with a value. If I disconnect this here, you will see our slide is at zero. And if I connect it again, you will see it will be at the 45 mark. So that's 45. So that's it. Now we read the value from the player. Now we need to go back to the designer or I, we don't even need to go down to the 
designer we have it here selected or in the design it does not matter it's exactly the same and you can here now create a new event on value changed click the button and you will get this new function so the first thing we want to do is we want to set this value to the slider value by doing this it will update the slider during the change as you can see here, it updates now. And if I disconnect it, it won't update. So that's what we are going to do here with that. So now we got this. We need again a reference to our player character. And we want now to read this value and set it to our player character because the player character will be the person who really changes the mouse speed. So we want to get the mouse sensitivity or not get, we want to set the mouse sensitivity. And after we have changed the value, I also want to see what the current value is. So I'm going to add a print string again and we put the value inside here. So now we have again the issue on this here is based uh, between 0 and 1 and this value, which is the character value, is between 0 and 200. So we need to calculate the value again. So we drag down here and multiply float by float. Oh, okay, wrong side. Drag down from here and make float by float. And now we also need to add again our maximum value. And I want to add here something. I want to clamp the value because if you remove, if you have the slider at the very left, it is zero, and the value of zero means your character can't uh, move at all. So that does not make sense. So I want to clamp the value to two values. A, the maximum is our maximum value. And the minimum value, I think something like 20 would make sense, but for the purpose of the demo, I will change it to one. So now we put in the value here again, and that's it, what we have to do here. So if we are going back here into our game, now you can see we can press set, we get the pop-up and we can move the slider and it will change the value and it is clamped to one in my case. But as you can see, nothing changes. So we need to go back to the third person character and scroll a little bit up. And as you can see, you got here two uh, mouse input and the gamepad, the gamepad input. And we need to change the mouse input a little bit to look like the gamepad input. We need to get our mouse sensitivity into here. So I will track that down a little bit. So we use that value and multiply it with a float. We click on pin to add a third pin. We put in our mouse sensitivity here. So, and we also need to get the world delta second. We need this because otherwise your mouse sensitivity is bound to the frame rate and we don't want that. So, and this is everything you have to do. We need to do the same thing down here. And now if you go into the game, you can see that's the turn rate of 45. We will change it now down to 1 which means it can't move at all. And now we're going to change it to 200 and it is very, very fast. So this is everything you have to do to set up the in-game mouse sensitivity by using a slider widget. So if you've got further questions, just ask them in the comments and thank you for watching the video. Subscribe. Like the video. Visit Hacking.